Hello everyone, this is Alan with untetheredincome.com where I'm going to help you break free from the rat race. Today I'm going to tell you how to install WordPress on your Bluehost hosting account. If you don't already have a Bluehost hosting account, just scroll down below and you will actually see a link to go over there and check it out. The first thing you're going to need is your own web hosting account. If you don't already have a web hosting account, head over to www.untetheredincome.com slash bluehost and sign up for your own account. Because I already have an account, I'm going to click on the control panel login. Once on this screen, I'll put in my account information to log into my control panel. And once in here, we're now going to scroll down to create a database like I just discussed for our new WordPress installation. So I scroll down to the databases section and then I click on the first link which is MySQL databases. Now in here, I'm going to create the name of the database I'd like to do. I like to keep it the same as my domain name, so in this case tippytopic.com, but go ahead and get rid of the .com create the database and this is just a confirmation page I like to copy this information and put it into a template that I've included in the blog post below so that I can keep track of the login information for my site so here I'm going to put the database name next to the database section now I go back over here and I click to go back And now I'm going to have to create a user for this particular database. You can see here Tippy Topic shows up, but in the middle there, there's no user. Well, to be able to set up your database and use it, you have to have a user. So here I try and keep it the same, but there's a limit to the number of letters that you can have for your username. So I just kind of backspace until I hit the, hit the limit. So Tippy2. And here I'm entering in the password that I'm going to use for this. And then you click the create user. So again, this brings you to a confirmation page. And once here, I'm going to do, again, I'm going to copy the username, which is square up underscore tippy2. And I'm going to paste that into the database username. And then you'll see that my password was extremely secure with ABCDEFG. I'm going to copy that, put that in my password section. Now I'm going to hit go back. And now the last step you need to do is you need to take that user and assign it to your database that you just created. Again, square up tippy topics there, but the user's not. But you'll see that the user's in this drop down over here. So I scroll down and choose square up tippy two and then I'm going to assign it to the Tippy Topic database. Once you've done that, click Add. And now you need to give that user all privileges to your database. So click that and then do. And now you'll see that the user was assigned to the database successfully. Click Go Back. And you can go down and verify that your database now has Square Up Tippy 2 assigned to it. So now we're going to go back to the C panel. And now we're going to go down to the Simple Script section, which is where we're going to do our WordPress installation. So, Software Services, the first link is Simple Scripts. Click that. And now you're going to scroll down to where the software is and under blogs you'll hit WordPress. And here you're just simply going to go down to the bottom and click the install button. And there's a couple things you can do right here. You're going to choose the latest version because that has all the security updates and in this case I choose tippytopic.com because that's where I want to install my WordPress. However, if you don't have 
a domain already purchased, you can go in and you can create a subdirectory of your main domain name. So again, here I'm going to change back to tippytopic.com. And I like to uncheck all the plugins. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, advanced. So here I put in the name of my website. And I don't like to use admin simply because that's the default username that comes with everything. So create your own username. It, it makes it a little bit more secure. And then here you put in the password you're going to use. I, I recommend making that slightly secure, a little bit more secure than ABCDEFG. You're going to leave localhost there. Username, we're gonna go back over to the template and we're going to copy the one that we used when we created the database. Now we're going to do the password, which mine was, again, very difficult. Paste that in. And the database name, you can go over and copy it, but I know it was square up tippy topic. Now I'm going to go down here and I'm going to uncheck the two check boxes next to the plugin themes. I don't like to install anything by default. I like to do those all myself. And now you're going to click to agree to the terms. If you want to read that, go ahead and then do complete. And once you do this, it's going to begin installing. Assuming you did everything correctly, you put in your usernames and passwords, you'll see that it starts installing and it actually goes fairly quickly. You'll see it's done. So now I click the, oh yes, I'm copying over my username and password that I created for the site. And this is how you're going to log into WordPress once it's set up. So now that I have that, I want to go and make sure my site's working. So you just click that link, the first one, and that will take you to your newly created website. And so here you can see the default install of WordPress with the 2011 theme. And it's already got one entry in there called Hello World. And it's really just a test post with a single comment in there. And this shows you that you now have a website up and running. Now I like to go in and check in to the admin section to make sure that works. So enter in my username and password, click the login button, and now I've verified that I am in the administrative interface of my WordPress site and we'll be able to get started creating content now. You have now successfully installed WordPress. If you found this tutorial helpful, please use my links below to sign up for your very own Bluehost account. Doing so is not going to cost you any more, nor is it going to save you any money. Bluehost basically just gives me a finder's fee for pointing you in their direction. Again, this is Alan with UntetheredIncome.com, and I'll be bringing you more video tutorials in the future on ways to set up your sites, ways to make money, ways to monetize your sites. So, any questions, comments, leave them below. Talk to you later. Bye.